one holy minute. So how is a pope elected? When a pope dies or resigns, the governance of the Catholic Church passes to the College of Cardinals. Cardinals are bishops and Vatican officials from all over the world, personally chosen by the pope, recognizable by their distinctive red vestments. Yay! You may be wondering why the red suit. Their primary responsibility is to elect a new pope. Around 15 to 20 days after a papal vacancy, the cardinals gather in St. Peter's Basilica for a mass invoking the guidance of the Holy Spirit and prepare for the upcoming election called a conclave. Only cardinals under the age of 80 are eligible to vote in a conclave. They are known as the College of Cardinals and they are electors, and their number is limited to 120. For the conclave itself, the cardinal electors process to the Sistine Chapel and take an oath of absolute secrecy before sealing the doors. The cardinals vote by secret ballot, processing one by one up to Michelangelo's fresco of the Last Judgment, saying a prayer and dropping a twice-folded ballot into a large chalice. Four rounds of balloting are taken every day until a candidate receives two-thirds of the vote. The results of each ballot are counted aloud and recorded by three cardinals designated as recorders. If no one receives the necessary two-thirds of the vote, the ballots are burned in a stove near the chapel with a mixture of chemicals to produce black smoke, indicating to the faithful waiting outside that the Sistine Chapel that no pope has been elected. When the cardinal receives the necessary two-thirds vote, the dean of the College of Cardinals asks him if he accepts his election. If he accepts, he chooses a papal name and is dressed in papal vestments before processing out on the balcony of St. Peter's Basilica. The ballots of the final round are burned with chemicals, producing white smoke to signal to the world that the election of a new pope has happened. <laughs> the senior cardinal deacon announces from the balcony of St. Peter's, we have a pope! before the new pope processes out and imparts its blessing on the city of Rome and the entire world. When a pope is elected, it is for life, unless they voluntarily resign from office. No one can dispose a pope, even if he becomes insane, sick, or corrupt. No ecumenical council has ever had the authority to remove him from office. So when a bad pope gets in, and from time to time, bad popes did get elected, the only course of action is to pray to St. Joseph for a happy death for the pope in question. Of the 266 popes in history, only a dozen were real scoundrels and caused great scandal. 78 popes were recognized as holy saints, leaving 175 holy men all right guys. Way better stats than presidents, prime ministers, or monarchs around the world. I hope this helps. God bless.